Hello again and welcome back to our course on Project 2019 Advanced. In this and the next few sections, we're going to look at a couple of related topics in Project 2019. And we're going to look at these two topics together because you very often need to use them, perhaps for the first time, on one large program of work or one very large project. Now, what quite often happens when you're working on a large project is that the project gets larger and larger and maybe becomes a set of projects, or perhaps you're working on a program that needs to be split up into a set of projects. And not only do you need to split the work up, but different people are going to manage different parts of that body of work. And what often happens is that the different projects, although they need to be managed separately, they still share resources. So what we're going to look at in the next few sections are combining multiple projects into one, or if you like, splitting a large project into several projects and sharing resources between projects. So it's essentially project consolidation and resource sharing that we're covering here. Now, in order to demonstrate these two techniques, I'm going to use an example of a charity event. And the idea is that we're going to run a charity event and it's going to comprise actually three events within one. There'll be a gala dinner, there'll be a fashion show and a buffet lunch, and there will be a sports day and a barbecue. So the gala dinner will be a fundraising dinner where we'll charge the participants a pretty heavy admission price. But for that, they'll get a good dinner. There'll probably be some kind of prize draw, some entertainment and so on. And then the fashion show and the buffet lunch will invite local fashion houses to put on a show. And as part of that, we'll provide them with a good buffet lunch. And again, we'll charge a suitable admission charge for all the people that want to see the fashion show and enjoy the buffet lunch. And we're also going to run a sports day, pretty much a family focused event, and that will include a barbecue. So as far as this stage in the course is concerned, um, we're going to assume that I've done some of the early planning. So I've put in place a provisional schedule for the major aspects of the event. And in the Gantt chart here, let me just expand that planning section. You can see that I've got maybe 20 tasks in that planning section. And I'm assuming that at this point, we realize that this really is going to be quite a big undertaking and we need to split the charity event into separate parts. And we've kind of now got to the point that we realize we're going to need people to manage each aspect of the event. So we're going to have one person managing the overall plan. We're going to have another person managing the gala dinner, another person managing the fashion show and buffet lunch, and then finally a sports day project manager. Now the key point here is that although the individual projects are not really very complicated at this stage, maybe about a dozen or so tasks in each, we need each of the project managers to be able to manage their project independently and separately. So why do we need to be able to do this? Well, as you'll know from your current knowledge of Microsoft Project, when you're dealing with editing a single MPP file, if our four project managers each want to work on it at the same time, that becomes very, very complicated, particularly if they all want to work on it at home and they don't have some kind of shared access to the file. So what the project managers need to be able to do here is to manage each of their projects separately. Now that in itself is a pretty straightforward thing to do. But the problem then is how do we share the resources? Some of the people, for instance, the group of volunteers that we're going to take on to do a lot of the work here, or people dealing with, for example, publicity, or people dealing with the legal side, getting licenses and so on. There are many people involved in an event like this who will be shared between the four projects. So how do we make sure that those people are not over allocated? And the way that we do this is to set up our four separate projects so that they share resources. Now, the added complication here, and again, this is quite typical, is that the four projects, although we want to separate them out, they are not independent. These projects have various links between them, and we need to make sure that these links are set up correctly, understood and respected by all of the projects. 
Now let me point out a couple of things before we start. First of all, if you're going to split a program of work into a number of separate projects, it's a good idea to make that decision as early on as possible because if you've already set the program up as a single MPP file, there will be quite a bit of work to do in splitting it up again. I'm going to show you one or two options for splitting as we go through the next few sections. And as you'll see, there's very often quite a bit of work to do. Usually a very good proportion of that work relates to the relationships between the tasks, so in this case, the initial program before we split it up, and maintaining those links when we split the program of work up. At the moment, with my four summary tasks, I've only got the fourth one open, sports day and barbecue. And although you can see the links within that task, because the other three summary tasks are currently collapsed, you can't see links to tasks within those from sports day and barbecue. But if, for instance, I were to expand the planning summary tasks, look carefully at sports day and barbecue tasks now. Now you can see that there are, in fact, several links to the planning summary task. When one of the summary tasks is collapsed, you don't see those links. They're still there, but you can't see them. Now, before I get started on splitting this program of work into four separate projects, what I'm going to do is take a quick look at the resource sheet. Now, I've got here eight resources at the moment, although note the last one, volunteer. We're counting on getting 10 or possibly even more volunteers to help on this charity event. I've left the standard rates at zero. And for the purposes of this first few sections of the course, I'm really going to ignore cost. We're going to come to cost in relation to other projects a little bit later on. And what I'm going to do is first separate sports day and barbecue to make it a separate project. Now I'm going to set up sports day and barbecue in a separate project in a particular way. And this way is not necessarily the best way of doing this. The best way will always depend on the particular circumstances that you're in, but some of the tools and techniques that you'll see here will be useful to you. As we go through the next few sections, hopefully you'll see some improvements that you can make to the way that you do this. But as I said earlier on in the section, one of the key things here is that the earlier in the process you can do this, the better the more likely you are to save yourself time and effort if you split up a program as early as possible. So let's get started. Let's first of all create an empty blank project using the keyboard shortcut Control N. Now let me switch back to my original project. And what I'm going to do is expand out Sports Day and Barbecue. And I'm going to select all of those tasks. I'm going to copy them to the clipboard and then I'm going to switch back to my empty project and I'm going to paste those tasks into that project. Now having pasted those in, note that within what was a summary task in the original project, the dependencies still exist. Now what I'm going to do is to save this particular project as a separate MPP file. So I've saved in the project course files folder and I've called it charity event sportsday.mpp. Now there are a couple of important points to make here. One of them is that when I copied the block of tasks, I copied the summary tasks, sports day and barbecue itself as well. And I want to return to that point a little bit later on. But in addition, if I look at the resource sheet for my newly created project, you may be surprised to see that there are only two resources on it. We have volunteer, and note that the max number is one, and we have sports day PM. So our new project has a sort of uh, resource sheet created for it, but it doesn't get the same resource sheet as the total project that we started with. And what happens when you do what we've done is that Project 2019 creates a resource sheet based on the resources that are already specified in the copied and pasted tasks. And so you can see, for example, here, one consequence of that is that the volunteer resource already seems to be over allocated because when it creates the resource sheet, it defaults to creating a max of one resource. And if we looked at the resources already allocated in the original project, 
we would see that within the sports day and barbecue summary task, we already have more than one volunteer assigned to tasks. Now, in fact, there's an even bigger problem here with the resource, because although I now have two projects and they each have, for instance, a sports day PM resource, these sports day PM resources are completely different resources. Each of the projects is using its own resources. And even though each of them has a resource called sports day PM, obviously that resource name is the same on both resource sheets. So as far as project 2019 is concerned, those are completely different resources. Those two resources are essentially unrelated to each other because these two projects do not share resources. So before we go any further with splitting our program of work into four separate projects, what I really want to do is show you how to share resources. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in the next section. So I will see you then.